These are songs for One Life to Live. One Life to Live songs. Big, big memory of uh, <clears throat> Charlie and Icky and Nora and Clint saying their solemn, solemn vows. But by the way, after you abandoned me in the church, darling, where'd you go? Well, I, I went on to the reception like an idiot. Got there just in time to catch Nora's wet, wedding bouquet, and Taya was catching Vicky's, and, and there was Todd standing there right between the two of us. So what's the biggie? Yeah. So you caught the bouquet. I could just mean you're the one who's going to be getting married next. Doesn't mean you're going to be marrying Todd. And of course, you don't want anything to do with Todd anymore, do you? So I can assume that Claire's condition had something to do with you bringing Taya to the wedding. Look, I didn't just read the paper here to make you feel any no. better. Not a very. It's your family now. You don't have a problem signing our confidentiality agreement, do you? Why did you bring Taya? Was it just her plan? No, no, I'm sure that's what you think, but it was a date. It was a real date. Picked her up by... I got her corsage. Oh, corsage. I was a perfect gentleman. We got her a private concert. It's trying to make me look bad. Oh, sweetheart. Not a chef. <laughs> Taya was impressed, man. Fucked off the piece. Just blew her away. Did you? No. Did I mention a private concert? You did. Uh, you know, it takes a lot more to win over a woman than just one great day. Especially Taya, who has been down this road with you before, remember? Hey, man, I'm not from one trick only. There's more where that came from. Really? What? Miss Delgado. Hmm. What is this secret information you know about my clients? Well, if I told you, then it wouldn't be a secret that way. You <laughs> <laughs> said we wouldn't be sparred. <laughs> so, you expect me to withdraw my appeal simply because you say so? Just let your clients know that I'm aware of an event that they wouldn't want entered into the public record. Especially now that Nora has married her brother. I am confident that they will more clearly see their son's point of view. Wow. Well, I usually reputations are full of hot air, but you're living up to everything I've heard. Happy to oblige. But I'm not withdrawing my action. In fact, I'd advise you to back out of this right now. Drop your case. Oh, why would I do that? Because I might just have some secret information, too, about you. lemon meringue pie, a free two-liter Pepsi Max soft drink, and more. Get it today, because like summer, it'll be gone soon. Summer, for a limited time at KFC. Ask the Lace Potato Farmer with Joe Olson. Karen from Alliston, you're live on air. Hi, Joe. I'm looking to plant rose bushes. Is it best to plant them in the spring or fall? Forget roses, Karen. Well, why not plant potatoes? Potatoes? <laughs> Lay's only uses 100% Canadian potatoes in making their chips. Maybe they'll choose some of yours. Yeah, but I can't put them in a vase. Of course not, Karen. 
You put them in your mouth. This program is brought to you by Lay's Sweet Chili, the new chip with a sweet kick. The unique climate of the Niagara Peninsula provides a perfect environment to produce excellent Ontario peaches. Ripen firm peaches at room temperature and then store in the refrigerator. The more you know, the fresher the taste. Foodland Ontario. My dad is awesome. He wipes the fence off. My dad is still awesome. For over 30 years, he's helped people with all kinds of fences, like PVC, chain link, wood, and iron. Remember, if you're thinking fences, think fence all. Extraordinary times call for extraordinary measures. From all of us today, we thank those who came out in support of local television. And we thank Pierre Polyev, an extraordinary member of parliament who stood up for local television alongside his constituents at a time when it counted most. We salute those extraordinary elected representatives of all stripes who stand up for consumers and a future for local TV in Canada. We're working on a solution right now, a solution that protects consumers, including a better deal for local TV with cable and satellite companies. Thank you. Thanks for watching A Morning. I did remember, though, that it was just grapes in the bucket and not the stems, which can be a little tickly on the feet. Uh, to, uh, you know, uh, it, does, it doesn't hurt so much as, um, you know, give you a little tingly, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'll take a pass on my feet one. Coming up on the next day morning, we're checking out some art from the farm. And we get a lesson in rhythm from Capital City Dance. A Morning, Ottawa's number one morning show. Space. So what are you saying? The final frontier. Cool. These are the voyages of the Atlantis expedition. People are the best at what they do. His mission. I am ready. To explore strange new worlds. You heard me. To seek out new life and new civilizations. They look like they can take care of themselves. To boldly go where no man or woman has gone before. That's exactly what happened when I took Pot once in college. Stargate Atlantis. Where are we at? Mondays and Fridays at 10 on A. Closed captioning of this A program is brought to you by OLG. Scan your instant ticket for yourself to see if you've won. Just scratch it, reveal the barcode, and scan it. What are you saying? That I can't see Skylar anymore? No, I just figured that you wouldn't want to hang around a guy who, who thinks he can come on to you whenever he feels like it. Oh, he didn't come on to me. I told you, Rask, it was a mistake. Come on, Marasco. He's been all over you for weeks. He wants you. Even Stacy said this. Stacy, some... you're listening to Stacy. No, I didn't. But I'm not blind. Every time I turn around, this guy is here along with you. You think that's a coincidence? He's my friend. A guy who's trying to break us up is not your friend. He is not trying to break us up. And he's doing a pretty good job of it. You, you have to see that having him around is bad for us. Now, promise me that you won't have anything more to do with him. Or what? If Gigi were free, you would probably have a shot with her. But she's not. I know, I know. She loves Rex. He's, you know, her, her kid's dad. And the last thing I want to do is break up a family. I just... Can't help how you feel about her. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to... <laughs> I'm gonna have to try. After I apologized for, like, the zillionth time, she said we could be friends. Oh, that's good. Isn't it? I want to be able to be just friends with her, Rachel. I really do. I just I, saw I don't him. know if I can stand it. <laughs> Rachel oh, wandered into the palace song. bar just as the commissioner was accusing me of forcing the surgery on Matthew. But she told you that really wasn't his problem. Created. I don't know what was. Are people supposed to be happy at weddings? That's why you were with her. August. When I came in. Tenth, two thousand nine. Bringing her dessert. <laughs> What's so weird about that? <laughs> nothing. Like I said, it was nice. Using? Uh, from what I hear, nothing gets a woman in the mood like bringing wedding cake. The guitar chords. Why do you gotta be such a dog? Rachel and I are still getting to know each other. What? Like passing notes? Do you still like oh. Yes. No. Maybe so. Please. A minor and E plus. You in fourth grade. The song is gonna oh, be called... What works for you, huh? What have you got? What works so for you? Yeah. That Rachel's smart. Funny. Well, tell me what works for you. What's your secret with women? With women. What works for you that makes you a success? With women. What works for you? What 
works for them. What's the secret of success with women? Well, if you were a woman, you might know the success and have a success story if you were a man. But if you're a man, how could you be a woman? Oh, well, everybody's got their success stories. All men and women, some more or less than others. Oh, women, women, women. Your success story now. Uh, 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 uh,